broadcasting from Studio 300 on Cal Poly's campus. You're watching Mustang News. Good evening, Mustangs. Today is Tuesday, November 18th. I'm Olivia De Janeiro. Welcome to a special edition of Mustang News. We are going to have a special guest join us on the desk in just a moment. But first, California Institute for Regenerative Medicine, or CIRM, is now accepting applications for next fall. CIRM is a two-year program with one year of regenerative stem cell lab research and a one-year internship. Biomedical professor Dr. Trevor Cardinal says the interdisciplinary aspect and in-depth research makes CIRM a unique program. This regenerative medicine field is a newer area, so it's it's a exciting opportunity for students to, to jump into that. Only 10 students from Cal Poly are accepted into the program each year. Applications are due in February, and all students with life science backgrounds are encouraged to apply. The Rational Middle Energy Series is bringing energy awareness to Cal Poly students. The documentary talks about the global energy crisis and how it's affecting the environment. Issues like climate change have been linked to high energy use. And according to the film's creator, Gregory Kallenberg, most people don't know where energy comes from or how much we consume. The series offers solutions to this crisis and describes how everyone can help and make a difference. We have to plot a path to the energy future that's going to take a long time. But, but if we don't start doing it now, it's not going to happen. So it's really, really important that we start concentrating on energy. If you missed the screening, the series can be downloaded for free at rationalmiddle.com. And we do have a special guest on the desk for you today. Lauren Manning is a Cal Poly student and also a professional artist. So welcome, Lauren. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. OK, so first, just tell me a little bit about what kind of art you like to do. So most of what I do, I paint people, and I focus on their influences and try to represent that visually. It's kind of an interesting issue. but. Okay, and what inspired, how long have you been doing art and what inspired you to start? Technically, I've been drawing since I was a child, maybe like six or seven. Um, my main inspiration is my brother. My brother's older than me, he's three and a half years older than me, and from the time I can remember, he always wanted to work for Pixar. So we had drawing competitions and uh, got really nerdy about art things all the time together. It sounds like it kind of runs in the family then. Mm -hmm. And you also put yourself through school at Cal Poly. So how do you kind of balance paying for tuition, working, and also being creative and doing your art? It's very difficult, but I look at it kind of like I'm looking at my future professional life. My teachers and I always say, you know, as soon as you are so busy that you don't have time to paint, then that's when you need to reevaluate. So. It's difficult, but it can be done. And I was reading about one of your recent projects. Tell me a little bit about it, because it was kind of controversial. So I did a performance for one of my spring classes called the Intermedia. Um, and the performance was I sat nude on a table, and my classmates came in and were invited to finger paint on me. And the whole idea of the project was about um, human touch and how we're not really encouraged to touch each other throughout the day. Like I gave a lot of hugs, but it, that's just the way that I was raised and something that I think is important is physical contact with people each day. So uh, it was definitely not something in the norm for a college student to present herself in the nude to a group of strangers. But uh, it was well received. About 15 people in the class participated. and. It was uh, exciting, to say the least. <laughs> well, I would love to keep chatting, but we are out of time. If you want to learn more about Lauren and more about her art, you can read the full story on mustangnews.net and uh, learn more about what inspires her. That's today's Mustang News. You can tune into our weekly half-hour broadcast on Charter Channel 19, UHTV Channel 7, and Campus Channel 4.1. Thanks for stopping by, Cal Poly.